Greetings and salutations to you, people of the interwebs. Uh, no, it's not that I haven't watched since the last time I uploaded the video. It's just that I've been filming back to back, but uh, uploading them on different days because we had a decent mail haul and I just looked at a figure that is probably in the previous video, or it might be time traveling and putting these in the wrong order. But there's, we've got uh, this, this, this guy. Let's just get to the point. We're looking at this guy. This is. Fans Toys 16T Sovereign. So this is kind of the toy slash comic depiction of Galvatron. Now, a little bit of reminiscing, as you do. Um, not enough to do you any harm. Focus. I remember the first scene... Fans, toys, sovereign. Aside from you know pictures on the internet and reviews and stuff, but in person, no, he's not a person. But in the flesh, he's not made of flesh. In physically, physically seeing fans, toys, sovereign at a rollout roll call, I believe. I think Ben's collectibles had him on his table, and he looks absolutely gorgeous. But he wasn't my Galvatron, you know? I was still a bit dubious about some of the different third party companies at the time. And I was kind of put off by how cultish kind of fans toys fans were even back then. I mean, this is this is the, the golden age of third party Transformers figures. And yeah, but yeah. But most of all, I was put off was that it wasn't my Galvatron. Because as a child, I never really had, I didn't have satellite televisions. So I didn't have any, my parents didn't have satellite television. More importantly, so I couldn't watch uh, satellite television. And season three of Transformers was on Sky, which is one of the British uh, satellite channels. Whereas like season one and two would be on, I you know, terrestrial television as it were um so i never really other than watching the movie on vhs back to back that was my only really experience of cartoon galvatron which was cool and all but my galvatron was from the marvel comics he was this insane despot this out of time guy who was more and more becoming more and more unhinged the, f the longer he stayed in the past because events had changed now that means he was no longer really living in the past that would have been his future kind of things had gone out of control things were unraveling the very fabric of time and space was, was falling apart. And he was just getting more and more insane from it. And just wrecking shop. And just... Um, wholesale getting rid of Transformers whose toys lines had been discontinued. It was, you know... It was this just incredible force of nature. And once he was gone... We got the... Galvatron 2, who was a Galvatron who had been ripped from another dimension to serve Unicron's goals. And he was a, had a bit more about him. He had a bit more of a game plan. But equally, you could see that, you know, this idea of being in another dimension with confronting the same things again and again, having to face to face with Megatron that wasn't really the Megatron that he was, was starting to unravel his noodle as well so i think and he was you know they were both insanely powerful because you know it probably be, they'd been reformatted by they took a very powerful transformer in megatron and being reformatted by the literal satan of the transformer world get behind me satan um so yeah that is my galgeon and I'm not sure how many, it feels like it's been years 
since Fans Toys released Sovereign. And I've always thought, you know, sooner or later, they're going to, you know, they like a repaint, do a Fans Toys. They're going to do them in the toy slash comic accurate colours any moment now. Any moment now. Any moment. And they didn't until this year. Um, they'll need some money to help finish the combiners, eh? Um, so, yeah, and this was released kind of exclusive limited quality quantity all those types of things and make you kind of buy quick and not question the price of it um well yeah and i'm going to open them today uh i'm just going to stay here right at the start of the video <laughs> this is the start of the video we've had a rattle for, beforehand i ain't transforming him live on video today so uh, this video this figure's been around for yonks if you want a transformation video um or even if you want to see it in his alternate mode because i ain't going to show that either we're just going to hard cut once we finish unboxing this I talked about him uh here's some instructions there's plenty of people who do cool videos cool transformation videos and i'm sure some of those will satisfy your itch. Paul Stirring is very safe, but I freaking hate it. Yeah, there's plenty of people within the Transformers YouTube space who do craft an excellent transformation video. The aforementioned Ben's Collectibles, for a start, I think you can't go wrong with a Benny Collectible transformation, so... Don't look for me to do that, because, you know, I try and shoot from the hip. And if I get a transformation wrong, I get a transformation wrong. So, yeah, I've got this big crate of polystyrene that feels icky in my hand. We've got, looks like there's two trays. I'm gonna good job it is because look at that horse dying because look it's like it's taking a hit here, right? Look at that. Sure. Um this is where I Open too much, and it goes all over the place. Uh, has it got a bit that says top or bottom on it? No, that would be useful. So we're just gonna remove this bit first of all. Yeah, look at oh wow! You know, you've got an impressive thick figure. When it comes with a body bag. <laughs> so. We've got this. We've got this insane. Blast effect. B2 Hasbro. Um, we've got. Spur Angry Head. Here. Um, we like it. We like it. We've got. Um. Two cannons, one solid plastic, the other transparent. We'll be using the transparent one. And the man, the myth, the legend himself, Galvatron. So we'll put that to the side. Heavy. And we're going to investigate this other tray. So the other tray, we've got a stand. So that's nice. That's nice. I've never really had a, a fans toys figure that's come with a stand before. So that's nice to be thinking of us. And here he is. QC Pass number 21. That's the important thing. But there we go. That's the important thing to mark with a fans toy, isn't it? You've got a QC sticker. That makes everything much more legit. Um... So I think we just need to kind of 
finagle these back pits in. I'm struggling to even. That tab, that tab, that slot, I believe. Doesn't seem to reach high enough. We need to do here. Very weird. So it feels like there's something we need to do here out of the box to get this to actually align. Oh, you got no. Oh. And hold into place unless it's something that this does. Anyway, wow, he's got little booties on here, so you can pull his feet out. Shut this out like that, spin those around, and behold, it is Galvatron. big choppy hands we're going to figure out this backpack at a later stage we're going to look through everything but we're not going to kind of like spend an entire time kind of dwelling on that right now because you know sometimes things a figure of this caliber and price point you don't want to be getting frustrated straight out of the box and kind of going like it how does this work and then just snap into it so for the sake of my own sanity i'm just not i'm just going to ignore that for the time being um so i'm pretty sure there's something you do that you kind of move this around and either these bits connect to this backpack to hold it up there or it finds a way to for that to slide, slide into that to actually be just at the right angle but at the moment it's like a a couple of millimeters too low that is a couple of millimeters too low to actually connect to that and i can't see any way of getting that to be 
any higher. So unless there's somehow that this moves down or this moves. Like I said, I'm not going to dwell on it, and I'm dwelling on it. That's what happens with the paint is gorgeous. The hand feel is mmm. That ratchet sound. Oh, a sucker for good ratchet. The purple of his thighs and on his arms. Um, the cherry red of his shoulder blades and stomach and this little bit, bit detail here. That cold, goldy yellow stir from his eyes. His big old head crest. And it's grey, but there's a sparkle in that grey. Like a vampire. <laughs> He's got his big old thigh boots on. He's just... This is my Galvatron. It's crazy. It's crazy. So he comes with an old head, and that'll mean unscrewing stuff and putting things in the thing. This is more a shouty and angry head. Which I'll definitely be putting on. But I kind of wish that it had gone all out. And got, you know, some proper... Um, so I don't know if the original came with this shouty face uh, or angry face. I feel like it does, because Galatron's known for being angry. But I feel like it could have gone all out, given us more give us some very stylized kind of from the different artists you know from your jeff seniors or your um andrew wildman kind of galvatron faces would have been that extra bit of perfection but you know he's a big chunky boy and we like it so he's got a cannon so that'll go in his cannon mode like so. And I believe we can open this up. Open that up. Just spin this out. Ta da, ta da, ta da. -da. Give it the extra bit of end on it, extra bit of end, and then plug it into his arm. Voila, like so. Oh, and it pops out. That's not uh, that's not the greatest. Uh, doesn't seem to. Particularly want to stay in there, but oh, Jeebus! Saved by the guts. Um, yeah, so that's the point. This one doesn't particularly want to stay in. We're not going to flip this one out, but we're not going to flip this one out. Well, that one doesn't want to. This one doesn't want to. That one really doesn't like being in there. Uh, so sometimes it's a bit of fit and finishing. It can be a an issue that resolves itself after time. Um, these flaps on impact are, used to just pop off all the time. And then just after a while, they just decided, no, no, that's where we stay. So um, any excuse to put Spartan in a video. Uh, comparison wise so we do have this guy this is the transformers kingdom generation selects galvatron so again in those toy comic colors i have um painted the crest and his eyes on this guy to more fit with a comic book so Kind of cool. Father! <laughs> um, yeah, they look great together, actually. <laughs> I like that. Um, yeah. 
So that's that. Um, with a standard deluxe class transformer. It is with good old Kingdom Earth Mode Sideswipe. What for Cybertron, don't you know? Um, where's, where's the size companions gone? This is a um, outrage. I think we might have just put the packaging over the top of them. Yep. Here he is with a more six inch scale figure with the dreaded the hood, Sans hood. Um, here he is if you want to go with your classic vintage GI Joe figures. I think even though you know the size is still way off, I, th I still think a vintage Joe and a masterpiece Transformer. There's something, there's something quite. Uh, it, it's almost there, but it's not quite. You know the scale wise, but I still like it. Um, with everyone's favourite bird, brained accountant. It's Raptor, Raptor for GI Joe classified line, please. If you're watching out there, um, why'd you be watching me? Unbox a third party transformer, I don't know. And for your Masters of the Universe fans, uh, your barista from another mister, it is Fisto uh, punching his way through to get to the bar, the Craft Ale Bar Pub, Ale House, Micro Brewery. Um, yeah. I say, I'm not transforming, I'm not even getting easy, 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 trying to figure out how to stop it, obsessing over this, it, it's going to be fine once you've figured out how it goes in, it'll be absolutely fine, Richard. But the more you pressurise it, the, the, the more chance you're going to have of actually breaking it, so stop it, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine, it's going to be fine. Show sure everything's on fire around me right now. Hey, anyway, thanks for taking a look at me unboxing what is definitely my Galvatron. I wonder if someone's going to do some shapeways faces for and stuff so I could swap that out for an even more stylized face. That'd be great. If you know about anything like that, of people doing different faces for this Galvatron, um, let me know in the comments below. I'll be Really cool to check them out. That's if you made it this far. I just might be just speaking for myself, which I usually am. I know there's a few of you stalwarts in Make It Through Here because you want to click some of these buttons, like ringing my bell, to be alerted for next time I upload a video. <sighs> TF Nation soon. Let's age this video. Um, I know what you want to hear. Be excellent to each other. Party on dudes. And because you deserve it. Fisto! Fisto!